Sales of raw milk in the U.S. have risen 21% since bird flu was first confirmed in dairy cattle in late March. The surge in popularity of raw milk seems to be directly related to the detection of bird flu in unpasteurized dairy products and a mistaken belief that being exposed to the virus will be beneficial to humans. At least 46 dairy cow herds in nine states have tested positive for bird flu, with concerns rising about the potential for the virus to mutate and spread among other species. Inactive viral remnants of H5N1 have been found in pasteurized milk, but the USDA assures consumers it's safe to drink. However, raw milk is showing high concentrations of the virus, making consuming unpasteurized dairy products a risky endeavor. While there have been no known cases of human-to-human -human transmission of the virus, the potential for mutations exists, with the World Health Organization reporting 889 human cases and 463 deaths from H5N1 since 2003. The mortality rate stands at roughly 52%. The Los Angeles Times reported increased interest in raw milk producers since the bird flu pandemic began worsening on U.S. farms, with some individuals seeking raw milk for perceived immunity benefits. Social media platforms have seen anti-science activists promoting raw milk as a solution, despite warnings from health authorities. The CDC emphasizes that raw milk consumption poses significant health risks, with the only perceived benefit being taste. The discovery that cattle can host both human and bird flu viruses simultaneously raises concerns about the potential for new strains to emerge, possibly leading to a pandemic. Researchers found that cattle have entry portals for both types of influenza A viruses, with receptors abundant in mammary glands, respiratory tracts, and brains. The presence of bird flu in dairy cattle and grocery store milk this spring has surprised experts, highlighting gaps in understanding cattle and influenza viruses. Preliminary results indicate the need for further research to assess the risks associated with cattle as potential hosts for influenza viruses. As the situation unfolds, it is crucial for consumers to prioritize food safety and heed health guidelines to mitigate the spread of infectious diseases.